Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area, and I am here to inspire you to live a more organized life. So since we moved into our new home about three months ago, um, I have been organizing various spaces in our home, and one of the spaces I've finished organizing mostly is the laundry area, laundry room. Now we've got a really strange sort of setup here in our apartment, which was really challenging, but I think I figured it out. And I also would like to give you guys some ideas about how to store your masks and uh, sanitation things, because since we've all been staying home due to the pandemic, we've had to take some extra precautions, such as um, wiping down packages or wiping down groceries when they come to the house and actually storing and washing reusable masks. So that area I've had to incorporate into my laundry room, and I think I did a decent job. So I hope this video leaves you inspired and uh, gives you some ideas for your own laundry space and maybe your like pandemic disinfectant space. <laughs> so let's get on with the tour. Before we start the tour, we're gonna say hi to one Clover Bean. This is Clover James, in case you guys don't know. He is three years old and he's super tired because he went on a long walk this morning, but his toy bin is really full. But you're sleeping with your pineapple man? There. You can use him as a pillow. Okay, I'll leave you alone. So oddly enough, in our entryway in our apartment, we don't really have an entryway, but we do have four doors in a row. <laughs> um, and when I was looking at the blueprints for this place, I was like, wow, this is um, special because that is a coat closet. That's the laundry and HVAC closet. And this is also an HVAC closet. So this door is not really something that we open all the time, um, but the laundry closet is something we open all the time. So I'll show you how it looks. So here is our laundry closet and we do have an automatic light that comes on when you open the doors or, and when you do stuff in there. It, um, it's not the best. <laughs> All of these lights that they've installed, these automatic sensor lights are um, kind of not the best. So I think that um, the developer is looking into doing something else like I'd love a switch, but you know, hey, that might be something for another day. So we've got our laundry machines, we've got our washer and dryer stackable. I do have some storage <laughs> alpha shelves on top, but we'll talk about those in a second. And right beside it, I have the alpha freestanding um, unit that I used because I repurposed it, some of it from our last apartment. And beside that, I have an actual shelving unit from uh, that I reused from our last apartment. It's alpha freestanding, um, and we'll talk about that in a second. Behind the freestanding is actually our water heater. And as you can see, we can still access it. Um, if we need to get some, for some reason behind here to do things, cause there are some kind of, uh, there are some switches and stuff behind there. Um, I can either do one of two things. I can remove a bunch of drawers or I can just move this whole unit out of the way if we really need to get behind there. But however, everything is pretty much accessible. So um, as a, <laughs> As an ex container store employee, I'm going to tell you, um, you, they don't recommend that you have this alpha freestanding unit, not like right up against a wall. However, <laughs> um, the way that it's configured right now, as long as you have stuff in it, it's very, very stable. Like it's not going to fall over like that. So, um, I had this alpha freestanding and I reused it and it's been really helpful for our laundry area. So I'll take you guys on a little tour. Okay, so this alpha freestanding unit is exactly two feet. And the reason I had set this up in here like this is because my husband does not use this dryer very often. He loves to air dry his shirts and stuff. So I gave him some space to hang instead of having them all around the apartment. He was doing that at first. Hello, Clover. But he can hang his shirts up there and we basically have the door open and they dry and it's really great. But lately we've been using it also to store our reusable masks. So these are the clean masks. Could we air dry these? And I've put them on this um, like fuzzy hanger with some clips because I actually hadn't been using these clips very much, but they came in great for um, storing the masks. So these are the clean masks. The dirty masks I put in the bottom drawer here on the unit and I'll show you that in a bit. But um, these are the masks that we're using right now. And the mask that we are using at the moment um, got hung on the dryer, like right there with the 
the side facing out on on this surface so that the inner surface stays nice and clean um, and then after we're done using that for the day we put it down there there's also a step stool on the side here and also the drying rack for like pants and sweaters and stuff so that comes in really handy when we're trying to air dry laundry but in this bottom drawer we basically have the dirty laundry and i've also got a collapsible bin down there which i'm not really sure why it's down there it actually should be up up let me move that i have that up there for little batches of laundry that i'm doing just to carry them to places see i have one right there they discontinued these they made these they used to sell these at Container Store, but they discontinued these. I don't know why, because they're the greatest things in the world, because they collapse super flat like that. Why would you do that, TCS? Why? So I have another Alpha freestanding unit that's in my office closet, and these are the leftover shelves that we're not using. I didn't want to put them downstairs um, in the garage, because that's, you know, I don't know. They're expensive, so they're up there for now. They're just chilling. Anyway, in this bottom drawer, we basically have the laundry. So any of the like the dirty masks or the dirty mi microfiber cloths, I just shove down in that drawer. This is where I keep all of my tea towels, kitchen towels, and also my microfiber towels. They don't look perfect, but um, this file folding method has been really life-changing for me. I know that a lot of people talk about that. What is this little, like, what, what is going on here? I know that a lot of people talk about file folding, but it's really a game changer. And there's some little, um, there's a mop head down here for the manual mop and one for the robot mop. In case you're wondering, here is the robot mop. She's very good at her job, but I have two reusable mop heads and that's where the other one lives. In this next drawer, I also have some more laundry items. Um, I, I need to re rewrite this, but it says, <laughs> it says pods, but I basically have Tide Pods in here, and I also have the extra Tide Pods that came from the bigger package over here, so I just will put those in there when there's room. Look at they're in a snack bag. You guys remember when people used to eat these? Oh, people. I have a few dryer sheets and some measuring cups for um, things like borax and uh, sodium bicarbonate. <laughs> I couldn't think of the baking soda. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and I have a measuring cup in, as well because sometimes things need borax, especially towels. I got some um, box cutters in there just because this is usually where we open packages. So I always advise people to keep things where you use them. So we just happen to have random box cutters there. There's um, some stain stuff. And this is stuff for the vacuum cleaner and i used to hate this scent but i actually really like it so um i can change my mind. i can change my mind and we've got a big old tub in here for like if we need to soak anything like a sweater or something this is a collapsible tub i just keep it um just built in there as a drawer divider and in here we've got half an of essential oils like dryer balls sort of station cleaning station and half like a sanitation mask station <laughs> so we've got um some disposable masks some medical tape and some vinyl gloves. This is stuff that doesn't get used very much. We also have some extra masks back there, um, but it just is in a place where it won't get super dusty because it's underneath this shelf all the time. Um, and these are essential oils that I use on the wool dryer balls. Um, so I have two sets of dryer balls. I have these little cute hedgehog dryer balls, which are hashtag adorable, like let's be real. And I also have these dryer balls. <laughs> And um, I actually, these I got from, I got them from Home Goods and they're wool dryer balls and you can put essential oil on them and they'll make your laundry smell really good. But the thing that I love the most is this little kitty. It used to hold um, the, you know, the dish scrubber, the little like aluminum dish scrubber. Well, it used to hold that. We got this in Paris on our honeymoon and um, I traded it in for another solution and I didn't know what to do with it, but I kept it. But look at how perfect that is. He's playing with the ball. I am obsessed with this, <laughs> so it's adorable. So there are my dryer balls, and we've got my laundress collection. I am obsessed. Ooh, that's dirty, but we'll clean it. It is kind of bougie, but if I'm gonna be doing my laundry, I need some bougie moments. Laundry is one of the worst chores you can do, right? But if I'm using like fancy laundry products, it's somehow not so bad. So here's my collection of laundress products. I have a delicate wash, well, and casimir shampoo. I've got some scented vinegar for no reason. Um, I've got some stain solution. I've got a bunch of stain stuff. So I kind of use this one, and then I've been using this one from um, the Good Home Company. This one's actually really good. So I've been actually used a whole bunch of that. So 
I might repurchase it, I might not, but um, it was expensive, so I'm, I, I might not. When I wash my masks, I wash them in a bra wash bag. <laughs> because they're kind of delicate and I just put the, I don't want them to lose their shape so I put them in the bra wash bag wash them on delicate and then hang them to dry up there so that's how I've been managing that and I also have some other wash bags in this little container as well and in this guy I have a fabric uh, brush in case I need to like brush a stain off of something and a couple of other like fancy fun laundry things like a crease release and um, the wash and stain bar which I actually use on upholstery and I just put it back in this uh, paper which is why the paper looks kind of gross um, but you know I don't really have a container for it so that's the container. <laughs> Here we have our sanitation station. So we have a homemade disinfectant that I've made from rubbing alcohol, water, and uh, tea tree essential oil. And also we have the Clorox wipes. I know, the manna from heaven. It's hard to find Clorox wipes nowadays, but I do have my little sanitation station for you know anything that needs to be wiped down when we come in the house. I don't wanna, I used to have it actually on the counter, like just sitting there all the time, but it got really depressing. I, I need to not look at that and be reminded that there's um, a situation all the time. So um, I moved it to this location and it's so much better. Up here we just have a couple extra bits and bobs like I have my steamer which I haven't used in a while and also some white vinegar which I actually use a lot and extra tide um, and then on the door we have our iron which you guys, it never gets used. I'm gonna be honest. We actually got rid of our ironing board because this was our ironing board holder and our iron holder. And now we just use this ironing pad. If we have to use it, we'll just put it on the bed and iron. It's amazing. So I use this now as a hook for my hoodie and I'm kind of into it. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. So that is our laundry room situation. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't talk about my favorite thing. So first of all, I got some essential oil on the shelf and like stripped away the coating so I'm gonna have to fix this at some point but this is a gliding shelf and ta -ta -da! if I need to fold stuff there's my folding surface so I was really happy with that one I thought that was cool so <laughs> that's my folding shelf and that is our laundry situation right there so I hope this gave you some ideas on your own laundry area I hope you guys are having a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are and are staying safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.